Good morning. It is April 13th, and I'd like to welcome you to another week of science. So the target for this week is I can gather information to build a model about the Earth's spheres. So we're going to continue the model that we started last week and keep working on that this week. For Monday, I'd like you to watch the Magic Monday video called Wicking Water, something that you can try at home. I hope you do. And I wanted to get back into our words of the week. So we're going to play catch up from last week. So first I have biosphere for you. We know that bio means life. So biosphere, when I say that, I want you to say, it's alive. Okay, do that with me. Ready? Biosphere. It's alive. And then the next one is hydrosphere. Hydro means water. So this is the water around us. So I would like you to say, when I say hydrosphere, you say water under, on, and above us. Okay, do it with me. The hydrosphere is the water under, on, and above us. And then this week we're going to be focusing on the geosphere. So when I say geos geosphere, I want you to say solid earth. Okay, do it with me. Geosphere is solid earth. And the last one is the atmosphere. So the atmosphere is the gases around us. So I want you to do your jazz fingers. And when I say get atmosphere, you say gases around us. Okay, do it with me. Atmosphere, gases around us. Very good. Um, on Tuesday, I'm going to have you watch another virtual um, marine ecosystem. So you're going to continue the video that we were watching last week and answer more questions. So just to remind you what that looks like is uh, you'll open the virtual marine ecosystem up and it will take you to this 360 um, video. And once you're in there, uh, this week we're going to focus on tide pools coral reefs, the Antarctic, and the Arctic. You're going to click on these little circles, and it's going to open up a text box. You'll read the information in the text box to answer the questions. And the questions are on the Google form that's also attached. OK, you guys did an awesome job on that last week, so I just continue that. And then on Wednesday, I would like you just to continue on your doodle notes. Remember, I want those colored big and bright, bold. Um, so why don't you just spend some time working on those uh, for science along with your other work. On Thursday, I've got a Kahoot game on the Earth spheres. This will be a great review for you, a study guide review uh, for the test on Friday. So if you don't have two devices or a phone to actually um, play the game like we would in class, you can still pull it up on the computer and use it as a review tool. And I'm still hoping that maybe we can do a class Kahoot at a certain time. So we'll see if that might work out for Thursday. And then on Friday, I'm going to have you take this Earth's Fear quiz right here on Google Forms. And then I've got a fun film Friday for you. It's a beautiful video on how the wolves change the rivers. It's a theory um, that has been um, talked about, um, and um, this movie's been made about it. Um, but there's some new theories um, about the wolves and the um, shape of the rivers in Yellowstone Park. So you could also read this PBS article, and then maybe your family, and you could have a little. Uh, discussion, debate on that. The one other thing I really wanted to show you is this, down in the Fast Finishers, there's a Robotics STEM Classroom link. So this is something new. If you click on that link, it's going to take you to a Google Doc information that looks like this, and it has the instructions on it on how to join a robotics classroom. So it will be a new classroom for you. You'll put in this code, 
and it's going to take you to a classroom that is being led by Miss Moss. So she is the one that brought the computers, the EV3 robot computers, to our classroom. Some of you may have met her when she came by. So she has um, something there to introduce herself, but then she has three um, different lessons that you could choose from and do. Um, what's kind of exciting about it is you can actually program on your Chromebook, on the Mindstorm program, send it to her via Google Classroom, and she explains that, um, how to do that um, on here. She has a video for you and instructions. She's going to actually download it, your program, to a computer an, or an EV3 robot, and then um, videotape it and attach it to Classroom so you can see your program in action. So very cool stuff. That's not required, that's just for those of you that are interested. All right. I've got to tell you, I was so impressed by the work you guys did last week. I had so much fun reading um, your different responses and you're just, you're doing an awesome job. So um, anyway, I want, to, want you to know I'm really proud of you. All right. And have fun this week with science, and we'll be in touch.